Hi everyone, Tracy here again. So um, I'm gonna do this tutorial for you. This is something I did on my sister for our Halloween party and it was actually her idea and I just kind of, um, I tweaked this version. I did it differently on hers um, for this video. So we have the sugar skull on this side and then like a Hollywood noir on this side. So if you wanna learn how to get this, keep on watching. Okay, let's get started. So first I'm gonna start off with is um, this white, uh, liner pencil. And what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to basically draw it down the center of my face to um, kind of separate it since I'm going to do the two. Let me take out my nose ring. That's going to get in the way. So I'm just going to line this. we're going to take our white paint. I'm using this cream makeup I got at the local Halloween shops. So you can find them anywhere right now. I'm going to do this side of my face with the white and I'm just going to roughly apply this with my fingers first. Okay, since I'm going to wash this off afterwards, I'm not going to make it super opaque, but um, next I'm going to take um, my NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk for my eye. I'm going to take a little bit of this to put it around my eye instead of putting that paint on it. Okay, next I'm going to take um, a little bit of this Cinema Secrets light touch color of this powder. So I'm going to put some of that in the lid. So then I'm going to take this fluffy brush and just get a little and really work it into this stuff. Okay, we don't want it on the eye because we want to be able to add color to that. Next I'm going to take my Manly 120 palette. I think I'm going to use red to kind of tie it in. So I'm going to use this red, and I'm going to take a flat shader brush. I'm going to take this 252 from MAC, and I'm going to put this just on the larger middle portion of my eye. I'm going to take that all the way up to the brow. Okay. Then I'm going to take a matte black eyeshadow. I'm just going to take the other side of this brush. So I'm just going to take the matte black from the palette. And for this outer edge, we kind of want to get a line from the outer corner up to our brow. Then I'm going to take my blending brush, which is the 224 MAC, and I'm going to blend these edges between the red and the black. Then we're going to do the same thing on the bottom area, just not as thick. We're just going to do it a little lighter. So what I'm going to do is take this 212 brush, which is a very flat synthetic brush and I'm going to take the red first and I'm going to basically follow right below the line. Okay, the camera cut off, but going back to what I was saying, I'm going to put the black and we're going to match these up so everything links together. Okay, 224 and we'll blend. Let's do a little bit of um, eyeliner. I'm just going to use some liquid liner. And this is um, Mary Kay's liquid liner. Okay, just 
just a little bit of that on top. And then a pencil liner for the waterline. Simple contouring right here. And I'm gonna use this angled brush and a gray shadow. Let's use Max Scene Shadow. It's a matte, kind of bluish gray, but it'll work for this. Looks like that. And I'm gonna use this. Next, let's draw in our mouth with the same black shadow we used and the 266 brush. I'm gonna draw our mouth. So from the outer corner, let's bring it out to about here. Then let's draw the teeth downwards. And then actually I'm going to take my black liner and sort of fill in and shape my brows. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take these sequins. I'm going to actually take the silver ones and go around my eye. Okay, so I started to add the silver sequins right along my brow line. So let's continue doing that. What I'm doing is I'm using some tweezers and that. And then I'm using just some nail glue. And I'm just dipping just, a, you don't need a lot, just really little bit. And just setting them next to each other. Okay. I finished these and I'm just gonna put them along the top. Um, next I'm gonna take a matte white shadow and kind of make this rest of my white look a little bit more opaque. Next I'm going to take the 224 brush and we're gonna contour right here. And I'm actually going to use black. Okay, next we're going to take the 266 brush again and we're going to draw some spider webs on our forehead. So 266 and the black shadow. Then we're gonna do the inner webbing. Next we're gonna do some shading, so kind of wipe off the rest of the black on your brush. And we're gonna use what's already on here. So we're just gonna Okay, so I decided last minute on the bottom of my eye, I'm gonna make little triangles using the 266 brush and some flat black. Next, we're gonna do the other side, and let me okay, grab. We're gonna do this side of the face, which 
I'm doing as kind of a classic pinup look, I guess you could say. So I'm going to take my regular everyday foundation. Okay, I applied some foundation and some concealer. Now I'm just going to set it with some translucent powder. Next I'm going to take like an off-white color. This is, oops, this is Sweet Cream by Mary Kay. It's a matte off-white. Okay, so I applied Sweet Cream just to my lid into my highlight. Next I'm going to take Bamboo which is a warm tan color. I'm going to apply that to my crease. Pencil brush is this darker brown which is this one right here from my Manly palette. Put that right here. And then take the 224 and blend it. Okay, for the sake of time, I did my eyebrows. Next, I'm going to do my liner, and I'm just gonna use the same liquid liner I used on the other eye. Next, we're gonna curl the lashes and apply some mascara, so I'm gonna do that to both sides. and more natural contouring this time. My Mary Kay bronzer, looks like that. And my 268. Okay, now that we've contoured, I'm gonna take this Revlon blush. This is called Hint of Ruby. And my MAC 129 brush. So I'm gonna just take a Next for highlight, I'm going to take my other 168 and my pink stardust. And I'm going to highlight just the tops of my cheekbones. And then last but not least, the lips. This is called Regal Red by Mary Kay. So I'm going to line my lips, or half my lip. And then I'm going to take a MAC Lasting Lust lip color and this. And with this, you put it on, but you cannot rub. It will mess up the application, so. All right, there you have the finished look. All natural, kind of Hollywood noir on this side. And we have our glamorous sugar skull on this side. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you all next time. Bye.